Now I want to talk a little bit about the status display. On the status display, you'll see a number of pieces of information. Starting from the right-hand side, you'll see basically the rise in pressure. And so here is a secondary display of peak pressure of 26, PEEP of 5.2, and you can even see the high pressure limit set over there at 43. As we move over a little bit to the left there, we can see that we have our gas sources, air and oxygen. And if I were to remove one of those, you can see that you lose your whole icon for a gas source. I'll go ahead and plug that back in. And you can see what it looks like once your gas source has been restored. Now another thing is that the 980 ventilator also has backup batteries. If I were to lose basically my um, AC power, if I unplug that, you'll notice that instead of this icon here looking like a plug, it goes to what looks like a battery and it says the ventilator is on battery. I'm going to go ahead and plug that back in. Over on the left hand side you can see that there are two batteries in. If I pull one of the batteries out, you'll see that once again it's reflecting that only one battery is in position. Other additional pieces of information is the serial number is up on the top left hand side. The setting for the alarm volume is shown uh, as well. And then the number of ventilator hours is shown here on the bottom left hand side. So there's one more thing I want to show you on the status display but I have to turn the unit off and back on to show that. So I'll return back in a second. So now that we have powered the ventilator back up, I have some other pieces of information. Basically on the top right hand side you'll see that it says neonatal circuit size. It's an HME approach and then it tells me that I've passed the SST, the EST and the post or power on self tests. So you see that when you first turn the machine on as compared to when it's in normal operation. For additional information on the status display please refer to the operator's manual.